It is so frustrating when you buy a car from an online auction and get a killer price on a potential flip or even a parts car. Then you realize that the hammer price does not reflect at all what's on the final invoice. Wouldn't it be nice to have something that would give me the estimated total while I was in the middle of the bidding process? Well, I've created that for you. Let's see how it works. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Aaron and this is A-Rob's Garage. If you like this video, please click the like button. And if you want to see more videos just like this, please click subscribe. This really motivates me to build more videos just like this one and bring them to you. Purchasing a salvage vehicle from an insurance auction is a great way to save money on a daily driver, or a parts car, or even a potential flip. As long as you, for one, know what you're getting yourself into, and two, can make the repairs yourself. Two years ago, I bought a 2014 Cadillac SRX with a little bit of front end damage. The thought is that I would fix it up for my wife to use as her daily driver. Well, during the bidding process, I won, and I won the vehicle for $4,600. Then I was floored when I got the final invoice for $5,800. That is more than 20% more than the hammer price. Now I have to admit, it was on me for not doing my complete research before purchasing the car. But if I had a real time estimator during the live bid, then I would have been able to determine whether the purchase was worth executing or not. Well, I did something about it. I created an Excel spreadsheet for myself, but then realized this could be an extremely useful tool for others. So I modified it to calculate estimated taxes and licensing fees for each state. Here's my disclaimer. I did my best to research all the cost and licensing fees for each state, but it may not be 100% correct, but it is very close and it gives you a very good estimate for what the final price is gonna be for your vehicle. I posted a link in the description for you to download. Let's get into it. All right, here is the main page of the spreadsheet. Uh, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is choose your state. I'm choosing Minnesota because this is uh, the state that I am in. Next, you wanna select your schedule type. Now, unless you have a business license with Copart, and uh, purchase 12 or more vehicles with them a year, then uh, most likely you're going to select either Scheduled C or Scheduled D. Now, Scheduled C and Scheduled D, the difference between there is uh, you would select Scheduled D if you plan on uh, paying with secure payment, like a money order, wire transfer, uh, or a cashier's check. And then Scheduled D, you would select if you're paying with a credit card or a debit card. Um, now, if you're selecting uh, one of these, I would, if you can, I would highly recommend using Scheduled C or Secure Funds as it can save you a few hundred dollars in the end. And so uh, the next thing you want to do is is just type in what your estimated uh, bid price would be. So let's say that I would like a, um, the, the most I would be able to afford, or my bid price would be around $5,000. And so uh, you can see here with all the different costs of the buyer member fees, sales tax, gate fee, internet beating fee, and license and registration, my total cost comes to about uh, almost $6,300. So you can see there's a quite a significant uh, amount of fees that have to be taken and accounted for beyond just the bid price. All right, and so these numbers, where these numbers derive from, are these different tabs. So uh, this first tab is uh, the copart fees um, in the copart range and, and each fee associated with them along with the online bidding fees. And then the state vehicle tax uh, for each state and associated fees with them. So if you find, uh, if you go through this sheet and find out that your specific state, um, your registration fees and your tax is different, um, you could just go ahead and change these numbers and it will give you a more accurate uh, a more accurate estimate in your final in your final bid. 
So let's go through an example. All right, so I'm doing some of my research here and I found a potential uh, parts car that I want to use for, for my swap. Now here I've got a 2011 Mustang, which would be a, a Gen 1 Coyote, because uh, it is a GT. And uh, going through the pictures, I see that it's got a side impact, which would make it a great donor car. Uh, the engine and everything up, up in the engine compartment is all intact. Uh, minimum, or minimal damage on the side. You can see the interior, the seats could be reused. Uh, dash, um, if, if I so choose. Uh, the seats need a little bit of cleaning, but overall they look in great shape. Uh, rear seats again. Um, and then here you can see the engine compartment. It's a little dirty, but overall the, uh, the engine looks um, completely stock, um, which is a good sign as well. As you can see, low miles, and it's a manual transmission. So this would make a great donor car uh, for, let's say, a... Uh, Coyote swap in uh, in a Gen One or a Gen Two uh, Mustang. We've got our website pulled up along with our calculator pulled up. Another way you could do this too is if you had two computer screens, um, or if you have the phone app for Copart, you could use that uh, while using the calculator uh, on your computer. And so we're going to watch this auction of that that Mustang that we looked at uh, to see if it falls within our budget. And so I will uh, we'll zero this out. We'll uh, zero this one out, and we will uh, we'll push play here. Uh, so now it's going. Um, this this uh, Dodge van I just sold, and now our car is up. We see the current price is fifty four hundred dollars. So we're going to put 5,400 here. Click enter. Realize that the uh, 6,000 is under what uh, what we can afford. So we click bid if we were bidding on this vehicle. So this is just a great way uh, for us to be able to use this calculator uh, in real time to be able to understand if our purchase is a good purchase or not. Thanks for watching, everyone. Again, if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and also please hit subscribe. Thanks again. We'll see you later.